Alright, you got the pumpkin king in the end of the day. And finally, the day has come. We've got the five bottom John Deere. Whatever, 13, 15, 14, 15, I done forgot. Wow. Got the old 1130 out. We got the weeds to die and I had to spray a little 24D on them little fuckers. But anyways, that's part of it. I believe it's dry enough, so we're gonna hit it uh, on the roof here today. But anyways, we'll just do a quick walk around of uh, the plow and tractor. I haven't. This plow sat in the machinery shed from the guy I bought off of for man, 30 some years. That's what he told me, 20, 30 years or whatever. But anyways, so needless to say, who knows what will happen. The hydraulic lines, I'm going to assume will hold. Hopefully that tire holds. Couldn't find nowhere to shine it up. Imagine that. So I'll have to do it here. So I've only got an acre to fly all. That's how big the pumpkin patch is, so... I don't know. Give it a whirl. It's a 1350-1450. So anyways, I think the old Massey on Bill handle it pretty good. Straight pipe. Sounds pretty good. So far. Anyone that follows me, uh, y'all know I had the injector pump rebuilt and the injectors last summer. Had the hydraulic rotary pump redone. So, this tractor had sat in uh, my cousin's shed that I bought off of. It sat for five years. The hydraulic pump had went out to didn't fix it. He just moved to a cab, air conditioned tractor, and I don't blame him a bit. He rode this thing for, oh, shoot, I don't know how many years. This was his uh, planting tractor. He pulled a John Deere 7000 with it, 12 row. Planted, <laughs> I think he farmed like 2,000 acres. So he was sitting on that thing, pulling a 12 row, at least 1,000 acres a year. Probably a little more, you know. He planted beans with it too, to swap it over, so. That's this jet tractor's job for many years, so before I had bought it off of him. Uh, anyways, pretty nice looking unit, really. Eventually, next thing will happen to this thing will be getting overhauled. It's not terrible, but it's got some blow by. I'd like to overhaul it before uh, I have it painted. That'll be what happens next. I've been Lacking just a few more front weights to have a full rack, and I've acquired more uh, them round wheel weights. So I don't know. I'm gonna get on here and give this a whirl, and then once I think I got it right here and all, and then I'll start filming again. I'm not sure what year to even try to pull this in. To be honest with you. So I'm gonna fill around a pass or two and go from there. So, we'll be back. Pumpkin yeah, King back. I've been plowing a little bit. Then we forgot to take a video, but the plow's starting to get shined up. Unfortunately, I'm about done. But yeah, well, however, a little wet, to be honest with you. Yeah, I want to get out here and fiddle around, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to drop this plow and video at the same time.
Lindsay handle that shit like a like a champ here. We gotta back up because that fucking stump is there, but we got buddy some come dig it up for me. And uh it'll be out of the way for next year. But I'm pulling it in second low range. Pulling it second low range with my multi power all the way forward. I, I think it might be a third. I've only got maybe two passes left, so. What do you guys think? I think we're going to try our third. Hell, I don't know. I think it'll fall up. This thing's tuned up. It ain't getting hot because I'm not running very far, so. Sounds good. I'm running fucking good too. I like this plow. It's like it's about a perfect match for some tra track. That's about it for the Pumpkin King today. I'm going to knock this little piece out and uh, let this thing cool off and maybe have me something to cool off with. So, like, rate, comment, subscribe, delete, uh, whatever you want to do. Pumpkin King Indiana is out.